writer and creative consultant from Ghana, but I live in New York right now, and I'm going to give you a little tour of my very little home to show you how I worked with Framebridge to bring some of my art to life. This is my bar area. Um, as you can see, it's a very small bar area, but the idea was to use the art to create the dimensions of the space. The pieces here are were taken by a good friend of mine, Colby Blunt, uh, and that's actually me in these in these pictures, but I don't tell anyone. You're the only ones that know this. Um, what else do we have here? Over here is a print by Irving Penn um, that he took in Marrakesh, which is one of my favorite cities in the world. And another photograph, which you can't really tell, and that's the whole thing. It's like, I like to play with texture and what's hidden and what's visible. Let's see what else we have here. This is my little office, my very tiny but very functional desk area, where I have two lithographs by the Swiss artist Alberto Giacometti, framed with frame bridges, Richmond frame. I think the frame is a nice juxtaposition of simplicity and detail. I like the fact that it picks up on the brass tones of the of the, the desk area. And over the bed is a sort of funny, self-referential photograph, an award-winning photograph by my friend Colby Blunt. I went for a sort of tongue-in-cheek but meta feel with this photograph of me jumping over a bed. Here's another piece I love, and it's a great example of how framing helps us to, well, I suppose to frame and preserve those moments in our life that we would like to keep indelible. And as a big opera buff, my first uh, visit to La Scala was certainly a special moment that I thought was worth preserving in a special way. This is my very tiny bathroom, which is sort of the general theme of my space. Everything is very tiny. In here, I have a watercolor, which was commissioned from an artist named Emily May. The art was inspired by one of my favorite films, Les Enfants du Paradis. And again, the frame, the Richmond frame, acts as an opportunity to infuse some brass tones and detailing into the rather obsidian bathroom. The final space I'd like to show you is my kitchen. In here, I only have one framed piece, but it's quite a lovely piece if I do say so myself. It's a photograph taken by, once again, Kobe Blunt, and it was taken at Castello di Vicorello, which is a medieval castle turned boutique hotel in Tuscany in a small village called Poggi del Sasso. And it's a photograph that brings back a lot of lovely memories. I love the simple white frame and how it works very well with the bright white walls in my kitchen. I hope you've enjoyed this tour of my little space and I hope that you are inspired to make even the tiniest of spaces feel grand by filling it with art and by picking the right frames. Thank you.